Hi everyone, been wanting to put this video together for quite some time now. This has been a project in the making for roughly two years. I want to give you a quick tutorial and walkthrough. Much more detailed videos will, will come out later. So let's get started. Um, as you see here, I have some SciTech FIPs, Cessna, Yoke, down here is the desktop aviator switch panel, desktop aviator parking brake, another desktop aviator flaps control, and uh, fuel selector valve. Cessna trim wheel, FX dual for the audio, um, Cessna throttle quadrant, for the radio stack, we have real Sims gear and flight illusion equipment. Uh, also have a, a butt kicker, which this was challenging to get installed uh, on this custom made seat. I will go over some some of the, more of that in a later video. Uh, rudder pedals um, and yeah, so that's pretty much. Um, the main controls, uh, I have three monitors, as you can see, two windows, and then the main screen. Uh, I have added some, some things like Cessna door handles, Cessna sun visors, and yeah, I have to give on the glide slope who's another YouTuber, a lot of credit. I have spent hours watching his videos and I have really modeled my simulator off of his. Uh, the guy is phenomenal. Uh, I've never spoke with him, never chatted with him, but I really do have to give a huge shout out to On The Glide Slope. He has been a, a huge inspiration in my sim. Um, if you bear with me real quick, I'm going to set the camera down, pull the simulator out so we can get a sneak peek behind it. Um, it is on wheels and all right, give me a second. So here we are walking around. To the back there's the tv and here is where all the magic is is happening um there's a lot to go over the most important thing i can say suggestion wise is labeling and keeping things as organized as possible because it adds up quick and can get out of control quickly so there's some of the wiring for the FIPs, the yoke. Um, I've installed some outlets. This is a driver for the um, cockpit lights. USB hub, another outlet stack down there is for the buck kicker. As you see, everything is labeled even even the outlets. Um, yeah, I, I just cannot um, overemphasize how much labeling is in, in wire management. So that's the, the back of the sim. Um, here's a side view of it. Coming back around. Um, another thing I do have, I do have two lights. I have an interior light here, which we can turn on, and then I have the cabin lights there right here. So I hardly, I should say rarely ever turn this guy on. He's super bright. Usually just have the cockpit lights up underneath the glare shield. So that's it. Um, Definitely going to post some more some more videos and go into greater detail on how I did things. Um, this is the first of many. 
please give me your, your feedback and thoughts. Thanks.